Hey everybody, um, welcome to the channel today. So I just want to come on and talk to you a little bit about my week, about some learnings and just, you know, some kind of journal thoughts, I guess. Okay. So first of all, <laughs> we meet so many people in this mysterious, wonderful life. Have you ever stopped to think about those people? Who are they? You know, why are they in your life? What lessons have they taught you? Okay, so one, like one of the quotes I saw recently by Dr. Philip Morfu blew me away. And we all have these people in our life. And these are the people, these are the, you're always a ray of sunshine on my cloudy day people. Those people fill your heart with hope and just add a smile and just so much joy to your day, to your moment. How many people like that have you got in your life? Or how many people are in your circle? This, the ray of sunshine on your cloudy day, okay? You need more of those people. We all need more of those people. All right, so now I'm gonna get into the lessons a little bit. I'm gonna get into um, just your thoughts, your feelings, your reactions, and then how it affects your body. This is really, really, really important. This week has been um, super intense with all of these things for me. So I need to share with you guys. I need to share with you to, to just remind you um, to be more mindful and just to be aware of your triggers, I guess, okay? So first of all, anything that annoys you is teaching you patience. Anyone or anything that annoys you is teaching you patience, okay? Anyone who abandons you is teaching you to stand up on your own two feet. So you, I, like I know you've all had people that have abandoned you, that have disappeared from your life, that have ghosted you, or just not been there when you needed them. So I remind you, they are teaching you to stand up on your own two feet, okay? Anything that angers you is teaching you forgiveness and passion. Anything that angers you or anyone is teaching you forgiveness and compassion, okay? Anything that has power over you. Now, this is huge. This is a big one because we give our power away all the time and we don't even realize it until it's way too late and we're too attached <laughs> and we're, too, we're in way too thick emotionally to sever it. So anything that has power over you is teaching you to take your power back. Okay, so are you like me and you give your power away way too much? Like I give my power away all the time. I get so wrapped up in the moment and the joy and whatever's going on. And then I realize later, oh my God, I gave my power away. Why did I do that? Okay, that's an important, that's super, that's probably the most important one out of all of the points here, out of all of the journal thoughts and all of all of the lessons. Um, so the next one, anything you fear is teaching you courage to overcome that fear. You fear something, okay? You're being taught courage to overcome it. So the next one and the last one, and this is, this is a, a great one for, for anybody who is, um, has a need to control things or has a need to, is a big planner and doesn't like when things go, uh, like go stray from the plan. Anything you can't control is teaching you how to let go. So if you are a big planner and you have to organize your day and you have everything timed out, well, sometimes things come up. And how you react to that, to that thing or what happened is going to affect you so much internally because if you ha can't let go of the fact that you don't control what happens in this life, you're going to be putting yourself through misery. Okay, so those are my learnings. Those are my thoughts um, from the week. And, you know, I, I think the big one 
And this is not one, this is not a realization from this week. This is just very general that, um, I, just a general thought that I, I dug up and I found it's by the conscious soul tribe. And it says, um, everything changed the day I decided that you are my lesson, not my enemy. And you can look at that, you know, you can kind of turn that around and you can use that reference for yourself, which is what I'm doing today. I'm reminding myself that everything changed the day that I decided that I am my own lesson, not my enemy. So that was, that's impactful. It's super big. Um, and then, you know, basically the, at the end of all of this, right, there's only three things that matter in this life is how much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of the things that are not meant for you. Like some things are not meant for you. You want them so badly, you feel them, but it's not meant for you. All right, so last couple thoughts I leave with you. Um, and that was actually by Buddha. Buddha uh, was the one that's, you know, kind of inspired that last quote or those last thoughts. And the last thing I want to talk to you about is just, you know, don't be afraid to lose someone who isn't grateful to have you. Okay. Gratitude is how we start our day and how we end our day. When we live in gratitude, we live in love. We live in joy, but we have to have faith. And my last positive encouragement um, sentence for the day, and I will end it here. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. And it's easy to lose. Tr it's easy to lose faith. It's easy to forget. And, you know, I once had somebody say to me that, you know, Natasha, I live in hope. I live in hope that I'm going to achieve the things that I want to achieve in this life, that my dreams are going to come true and that I'm going to get, you know, over there. That's, that's my vision. That's where I want to go. I have hope that I'm going to get there, but hope is going to, is going to, it's just the beginning. You have to have faith. You have to have faith in yourself. You have to believe in yourself and that you can accomplish anything and that you can do anything and that you can reverse <laughs> any of these lessons. So the lessons learned are just lessons. It's up to you what you want to do with them, how you want to change the dialogue, how you want to acknowledge the trigger when you're feeling angry or annoyed or lacking patience. Okay. So People don't do things to us. We allow ourselves to experience those thoughts, those feelings, and those triggers. So take control of your emotions. Spend some time in mindfulness. Be aware. Meditation is going to ground you. It's going to bring you back to the present moment, and it's going to erase or blur everything that's going on around you. Because everything that's going on around you is creating false thoughts in your head about your reality and about your perception of reality. Bring it back to the moment. Be present. Be here now. Focus on your breath. And if anything, feel that heart beating. That heartbeat is your lifeline. That is a reminder that you are alive. You are here now. You're great. You have to be grateful for this life. Be thankful. Have faith in yourself. And always, always, always be have appreciation for the people around you that are there for you, regardless if they annoy you, frustrate you, add joy. Maybe they are your sunshine. Maybe they trigger you to remind you that you're not perfect because perfection is an illusion. Time is an illusion. We can't fix yesterday and we cannot control tomorrow. So take control of your now and live here in love. Guys, <laughs> I've said lots. So I'm going to wish you a great weekend. And I hope I inspire you this weekend to spend some time alone. Be mindful. Take responsibility for yourself and your life. All right. So grateful for all of you. Thanks for watching the channel today. 
feel free to subscribe if you want. Okay. Bye. Next time.